Hi, Kev at leadsharmonica.uk. This is Life, Love and Blues Harmonica Licks. I listened earlier today to a song I've not listened to for a long time um, by Papa Lightfoot called Mean Old Train. It's notable for lots and lots of different reasons. Um, not least of which being the the absolutely the amazing uh, amplified harmonica sound that is on there. It just sounds absolutely incredible. Papa Lightfoot is playing some very, very interesting stuff in this song. And lots of it, although it's on a theme, is atypical. So I sat down to I listened to a lick, I sat down to tab it out and I'm thinking... This is nuts. Um, I'm going to do a few different videos on this tune in particular because um, there's just so much in it. It's, it. it's fantastic. So, me being me, I went off and got all complicated straight away. But for this video, I'm going to dial it straight back. And um, near, the, near the beginning of the song, it does some just lovely train-style chording chugging. <laughs> Think is very close to a lick he plays at one point so um, because I don't do an awful lot of um, easier stuff here or I thought I'd just tab out quite a simple cool chording 12 bar inspired by Papa Lightfoot um, that should be accessible to anyone but still with uh, a couple of interesting things going on okay so let me just play through this thing first of all I'll do it without the backing track, of course. I've got a G harmonica today. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. So that's all there is to it. All of that chording I'm doing on holes one and two. A little bit of three in there. Just keep the four out. Um, you really only want one, two and three. The first thing that's weird about this is that it's starting on the end of the one. In other words, your count goes one, two, three, four. Then the next bar starts with a one. One, two, three, four, one. And that's the point at which this lick starts. It's one of the reasons it sounds so good. Um, it's a very sort of hip, little waltery thing to do. That start behind the beat like that. Um, right, so what are we doing? We have got a series of inhales on one and two. And chordings like the, the most immediate thing, straightforward thing you can do on the harmonica, right? Just, you don't need your tongue on the harmonica, just drawing in. And the shape of your mouth is going to, not the shape of your mouth, the shape you put your mouth in is going to have a huge effect on the sounds that come out. So this is really fun to play with, okay? In, 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 out. In, in, in. That's the rhythm. Da, 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 do. Da, da, da. Okay. And listen to how I can change the sound of that just by altering the sort of dimensions of my mouth. So there I've gone from having it quite small to quite open. And you can pick where you want to pitch this. And you can also pick how you want to articulate these sounds. The articulation is how we sort of uh, mark out the beginning of the notes. So instead of just going... <gasps> you would typically use something like a... Ta -ta 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 -ta, using that T sound. Um, you don't need to make the vocal sound, obviously, just move your mouth as if you were saying that. So I'm doing there sort of... 
ta ta da da la da 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 la da 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 But the key is that you want it to sound quite breathy. You don't want it to sound like... Because that's just like way too much, right? So you... That first bit repeats twice. When it moves to the four chord here, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're just reversing the direction of the breath. So we're starting on the out breath. And then one in breath. And then three out breath again. So that goes. Excuse me. That goes. Then we're back to the original idea. Moving on to the five chord, we're going to hit the just the one draw. Da 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 da. Then one blow. Da da da. And then on the for this little turnaround here, just <laughs> which is another that little idea of bobbing from the root on the two just up to just to get that blast of the same note an octave higher on the six blow is uh, is another uh, little idea I nicked from this song. <laughs> So all I'm doing there is I'm doing the two draw, tongue blocked, lifting my tongue off. Um, I'm actually doing pulls. If you don't know how to do pulls, you can just lift your tongue off to get that one, two draw. Six blow, back down to the two draw. I'll play it once more through. I'll play the whole thing through again once more without the backing track. Check the count in. One, two, three, four, one. One. Four, one. Four, one. Four, one. Really fun little chorus. I'm going to play it through a few times now uh, with the backing track. Backing track from MCCD sessions linked in the description. I'll be pulling something else out of Mean Old Train for next week. <laughs>